Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at the serverside.com and I wanted to talk to you about installing JDK 1.3, JDK 13 on Ubuntu. You notice that I've gone over to jdk.java.net slash 13 and down there I can download the adopt and open JDK distribution of the JDK for an x64 Linux box. There's the tar file right there. I have to just click on that, download the file. As you can see, it's about that many bytes in size. Uh, just to stop you from being bored, I actually did that already. You can actually see that file downloaded there inside of my downloads folder. Uh, by the way, this is just a, a simple vanilla Ubuntu installation. All I've done is installed Notepad++. I guess I did a, a sudo app get update after I did that. And um, then I went into do this installation here. So um, there's nothing crazy installed already. But that's the compressed file. I want to actually get what's inside of that. So I'm going to extract that file right to this folder. You can see it right there. And what's really interesting is actually this JDK-13 folder and specifically that bin directory inside, which I'm going to add to the path of the Ubuntu machine. And inside that bin directory are all the interesting utilities. There's the Java runtime, Java C, Java doc, Java P, jar, I mean, all of the neat stuff is in there. But right now I've got that JDK 1.3 folder. That's just sitting there inside of my downloads folder. I don't want that. I want to move that to a, a little bit more of a logical place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a sudo move command and move that to the OPT directory. Move it over there to opt. You'll notice that it's now disappeared from here. And if I actually go dig deep into the bowels of my computer and look for OPT, you can actually see that file, that folder moved right there now. Okay, so with that done, the next thing I want to do is I want to go in and, well, I need to set Java Home and the, the I want to add the bin directory of Java Home to the path. I also want to set up a shell script in the profile D Etsy folder that will allow the environment variables to run every time Ubuntu starts up. So I'll do that with a nice little T command. So sudo T and say, I want to create a new file in that Etsy profile D directory called JDK 13 environment.shell, jdk13nv.shell. I'm going to keep writing here. Oh, I forgot to, my second, there we go, that'll work a little bit better. Okay, there we go. And I want to set Java Home, do that with a little export command. Java Home is now in the opt slash jdk 13 folder. Make sure I didn't miss anything there. Uh, I also want to add the JDK bin directory to the path. So I just say, hey, go set the current path equal to, and we'll go set the path to whatever the current path is, along with well, what we just set for Java Home which is op jdk-13 and specifically the bin directory of java home onto the path of the uh, onto the path of the ubuntu machine. Now I'm just going to read that again sudo t etsy profile d slash jdk 13 nv dot shell export java home op jdk 13 looks good export path um, and did I miss uh, colon nope dollar sign path it's there java home bin. Okay, that all looks really good. I'll just throw in the password. And now we have all of this uh, set into that file under profile D. Let me just go take a look at that. Go into the computer. There's Etsy. I'm gonna dig deep for profile D. There we go, JDK MB shell. Now that hasn't actually been run yet. So if I actually want to run that, I got to do source uh, Etsy profile D JDK 13 env dot shell. And now that will have run that command and 
now it's actually set the Java home and the path. So if I do a bit of an echo here, let's echo. There we go. And I don't know, can we echo the path too? There we go. JDK bin is on the path. So that all looks good. I guess I can also verify that Java has been installed by saying Java version. And notice that it has successfully been installed. We've got version 13, a 13.3.3 runtime, all running on a 64-bit machine. And there you go. That's it. That's all you have to do to install JDK 13 on an Ubuntu machine.